A holding pattern is basically a racetrack shape centered on some kind of navigation fix. Now that fix can be anything that you can identify with your navigation radios. The holding fix could be a VOR or Vortex station. It could be a non-directional beacon. It could be an intersection on an in route airway or an approach chart. Or it could be a DME fix, a DME distance from the Vortex station. If you can identify it with your navigation radios, you can hold there. Now the inbound leg is the leg of that holding pattern where you are flying towards the holding fix on that holding radial or bearing. But you're always flying towards the holding fix on the inbound leg. And you want the time on that inbound leg to be exactly one minute. The inbound leg should be exactly one minute long if you're holding at or below 14,000 feet. So how do you get the time to come out just right? You adjust the outbound leg up here as necessary in order to keep the inbound leg one minute. Lengthen it a little, shorten it a little to keep the inbound leg coming out at one minute. Now, timing for the outbound leg. When do you start that? You start it when you are a beam the holding fix in most cases. If you're holding at a VOR or Vortex station, if you're holding at a non-directional beacon or a DME fix, and even some intersections, you'll be able to tell when you're a beam the holding fix, and that's when the timing for the outbound leg starts. A beam means that the holding fix is off your wingtip. So the FA will say you're holding at a non-directional beacon. When should the timing for the outbound leg begin? Well, you're going to be able to determine the abeam position, so that's when you should start timing, when you're abeam the holding fix. And it doesn't make any difference whether it's a standard or non-standard holding pattern. They'll say to you, when should you start timing when you're doing a holding pattern at a VOR? Again, a beam the holding fix over a beam the holding fix is when you start timing for that outbound leg.